my name is jansi rani and i have done msw loyal of msw from loyal college my name is gayatri i'm from kanyakumari i'm 33 years old i'm mary i'm richard sofia um at present i'm working as a medical coder i am chitra i'm 31 years old and i am married i have two kids and two are boys my husband is from sri lanka i have two years old boy his name is adam and i done my mba hotel and tourism management i am married uh, i have uh, one kid is uh, named benjamin and two and a half old and at present i'm staying in tamaram in near chennai i am working as a software engineer and my designation is manager i am married i have four year old kid and currently now I'm, now i'm working with a company called komodo security solutions i work there as assistant manager hr at the age of 11 i started studying in kovalam school i was a school topper uh, from my childhood to stay uh, to say like from my 6th standard itself i was the uh, first rank holder i lost my father in my 10 years old so after that i don't have any uh, help from our relations i studied in different school from 8 to 10 then after that 11th and 12th i got the opportunity to study in kovalam i uh, wanted to become a doctor but my family background was you know a little bit not okay so i preferred a nursing i couldn't you know continue in nursing due to my health issue so i changed totally my professional into medical coding i have uh, two brothers younger brothers and one younger sister having four kids and making them to study uh, um, uh, making them to uh, get it in the higher studies this was a difficult task for my father he is having a small shop and getting a uh, income in that shop is like uh, it is it is it is not that adequate for uh, leading a family my father was a laborer and my mom is just a housewife i got two brothers and one sister and the bro- they everyone were you know in between they quit their job uh, quit their studies and everything so i am the one who studied after 10 after 12th standard i thought i have to go for work some like a labor so i have to make my sister have to be study that is only thing i have so i have only one weapon i have a prayer only so i didn't believe anyone maybe i thought no i will not study i think like that only i never thought and dream also because i know i cannot dream so i stopped that i have to work for my family and i have to make my sister have to be studied my sister when she is uh, age of 12 or 13 she got brain fever so because of that she lost her eyesight so till now she is blind she is with us only so you know i wanted to make her to get good sight of her i choose this medical background my sister was uh, you know fully uh, very sick so my father was trying a lot and a lot to get her a good eyesight so he lost totally his wealth and whatever he saved little bit for us so we went into a big loan problem and he stopped working also because he got heart attack due to my sister's health so he stopped working and after which you know we don't have any thing to background to support us so mr alfredo he told me to go for higher studies but i cannot go because of my family situation i have to take care of them so then they told you can do in the distance education so i went for a mba hotel and tourism management after 12th i got sponsor of madam elena kumo if i would have not been get this foundation i i don't know i will be become no i will not even finish my degree course it was very useful because of uh, funda kumo foundation it helped me a lot and lot i can't express my uh, happiness when i got selected into kumo foundation scholarship and the luckiest person i got the opportunities to study in the university i'm really happy because of that i done my part time job also when i'm doing in, doing in my university itself so in that money i given for my sister studies i am the first graduate in my entire family all all of my uh, brothers and sisters including me studied well and we all four got selected into kumo foundation i want to be a lawyer 
uh, because uh, when i uh, when i am going to uh, when i got this scholarship also i got that dream now all of us are in good position because of kumo foundation family so we could say like kumo foundation family made our family into a better shape he made, made me to meet some lawyers and they told this is the situation this is the then i thought maybe this will not work out for my family because i need a job immediately i need the growth if i go to be a lawyer it will take some time to grow if i think about my dream only it will not work out for my family so i have to think both the sides so i have to grow in my fa- grow in my future also a little quick being women is itself is a great thing and that too having a career in our hand and without depending anyone in the fa- in the family or in the society uh, is a uh, is a important thing for any women now i'm having two kids but still i'm able to manage my work as well as my personal life women should not depend on anyone it is good for them as well as for their entire society i had a passion about it so i was very clear about it i don't want her to be like my mom and she was even a very strong woman that she made us to, she she was completely uh, supportive my husband is very supportive and even my in-laws and even my parents so maybe that's a primary reason for me being for in a software company for 10 years this is my 10th year in my software company and if i'm doing well and it's because of everyone including the kumo foundation scholarship importance of career after marriage it's definitely uh, the much needed one because a woman to be, to be an independent they definitely need much uh, not only in terms of financial but for the moral support and to have the society uh, like to come up in their own way so definitely the career helps them to have a good position in the society whatever i also uh, say to my child is like uh, whatever is given to us given to you you should use the opportunity properly you should utilize the chance and make your life better education is not only about the uh, what the profession is to going to be it should make the value of a human being so he should know how to respect he should learn how to deal with the society i'm a strong woman <laughs> and independent woman and able to manage both family and uh, career uh, uh, without any difficulties as could i see and uh, my ambition here is like uh, uh, down the line i want to become a, a kind of ceo for a company education is very important for the girls to be an independent so first thing is education whatever the reason maybe they should continue their education and the second thing would be the confidence so where they should have to move on to the next level if you keep on coming backwards coming back we cannot reach our goals and we cannot come up in our life so courage is very important and clever and intelligent it is a thing of presence of mind so if you believe in yourself definitely you will achieve what you think they should lead their life they should have that strong confidence in leading their own life they should not be dependent on anybody we should believe ourselves that we can do anything as if you believe on yourself then we can go ahead wherever we want whatever struggles you are facing now is the uh, what to say that will that will make you stronger in future so don't get afraid of all the struggles whatever you are facing be bold enough to face it courageously